Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you Let's Play Enigmatica 6 Expert Mode. One thing that's super important to mention is that this pack right now is in pre-alpha phase. But I was assured by one of the pack developers that most of the beginning content is finished. So be sure to smash like to keep the series going and subscribe so that you can find the channel again. And if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. Today we're going to be working on circuit back panes or back planes. What we're going to do is we have to make our engineer's workbench, which isn't a problem. Insulating glass is going to be aluminum dust and green dye, no problem. Uh, the engineer's blueprint is going to be what's kind of tough. For that we need the alloy kiln, specifically there's no other choices. We need these upgrade matrixes, which can only be made inside of the thermopneumatic processing plant from Pneumaticraft. With smoldering lapis, which we have to use in the blast furnace, which we have to mix in a heated uh, create mixer. So that looks like the route we're going to have to go. What I did in between episodes, so I went ahead and I made... Uh, the fridge, the oven, the cooking table, just to add some more foods for us to work with so that we can get some extra hearts. I made the two keys required, some framed drawers. This modified recipe was kind of cool. It requires a basket. Baskets require canvas. Canvas requires straw and beeswax. So the beeswax we've been getting from centrifuging the honeycombs and the straw I've been getting outside from uh, using the knife, this guy here, a diamond knife, on uh, our uh, wheat crops. So I got rid of the create autom automized, automated um, tree farm and crops. I got rid of those so that I could plant all of these as, uh, as wheat. Let's skip the night real quick since it's raining outside. Let's see what this guy's selling. Bucket of Nautilus. Can this get be dumped? I don't know how that works, so let's see. Okay, buckets of Nautilus. Use. Scion die. Put this back. Let's see if we can dump these out and get Nautilus. Yep, we can. That's cool. Nice. Okay, cool. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is uh, we need to make ourselves the kiln oven. We need to make kiln brick. It's sequenced assembly. Uh, blast brick that we made in a previous episode. We're going to make mud bricks. We're going to make construction paste. So we need the smoldering lapis. And I believe we need three of these in total. So let's grab the tar, the nether quartz, and the lapis. Nether quartz, and let's use our time in a bottle. Let's go. Oh yeah, we got a shift right click. 32. And 15. Let's see if that's enough. Yeah, we only need six. There we go. And we need... Oh, we, we just picked up some coal. Perfect. So we should be able to head over here to the mixer, heat it, toss in our stuff, and it'll be good to go. Retar... Six nether quartz. It's not going in, is it? <laughs> Alright. Three tar. Six nether quartz. Fifteen lapis. And then we just need to heat him up. Cool. So that should be our three pieces of coarse lapis lazuli compound. Cool. We'll head over here and we'll drop this guy in here block of coal coke should not be down there or wait yeah we need to oh we do we need to burn it with coal coke 
I guess we do. Okay, so let's break this down so we don't waste. And go three pieces of coarse lapis. We're going to heat it up. And uh, we should have... We have well, more than enough wood. Break this down. And let's see if we can craft with the tank. Or if that has been deactivated in this pack. To make some treated wood. Let's see. This. Wrap it. Yeah, no, it's been deactivated. There's probably a conflict, because I remember Rid let me know in regular Enigmatica 6 that there's a conflict with using the uh, the tank in the recipe. So what we can do is we can use buckets. And what was it that makes the this guy? Let's fix that real quick. Alright, so buckets. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's make some treated wood while we're waiting for the moldering lapis. There we go. All right, so there's our engineer's workbench. That's what we need to make the uh, circuit backplane. I guess we could set it over here with all of our immersive engineering stuff. We'll just put it here for right now. You guys know me, I move stuff around. So we're working on the smoldering lapis. We can set up the sequenced assembler now. So the way that this recipe is going to work is we need to run this guy through four times. We need to one, run one of them through four times to get four bricks. And we need eight bricks to make the multi-block. So we need two of these dudes. We need to run them through eight times. So each one of these steps needs eight. So eight black, uh, blast brick in the first three. All right, the next one's going to be mud bricks. I believe we have a water bucket. And we can grab eight pieces of dirt. And that should be enough for us to make mud. Mud block. Okay, so let's see what the recipe is for the mud. It is... Hmm, how does that work? Small fluid tank from pneumatic craft. Let's see. So we need reinforced stone slabs. We need reinforced brick wall, and we need thermal glass hardened. Also, let's check the quest book. It wants smoldering, and then it wants kiln bricks. That's the order of the quest book. And for the thermonomatic processing plant, we're going to have to make these small fluid tanks anyway. So let's go ahead and switch over real quick to reinforced stone. What we have to do is we have to run concrete powder through molten compressed iron. Alt shift click. Alt, shift, click to clear. There we go. That's how you do it. So let's drop in some compressed iron ingots. We can get this guy smelting down. Give this guy a boost. One, one, two, three, four, five. Into molten compressed iron. Let's see. We have the induction smelter here. We have the fluid encapsulator here. Let's see if we can move these two guys. Move him and move him. Put the fluid encapsulator here and the induction smelter down here. All right, and let's see. Alt, shift, click to clear the latex. We're going to configure input from the right and auto input enabled. This guy we're going to output to the left, and auto output enabled. There we go, we have the molten compressed iron in here. Now we need to make the concrete powder. Sand, gravel, and white dye. Alright, and it was sand up top, and gravel underneath. There we go. 32 white concrete powder. If we need some more, we can come back and make some more. 
We can run the concrete powder through the fluid encapsulator now. Let's go. All right, shift, one, two, three, four, five. That makes our reinforced stone, perfect. Okay, so we have our reinforced stone. We can take that out. I believe we can turn it into reinforced bricks like this. We're going to need small fluid tanks. So we need hardened glass, reinforced brick walls. Let's see, we need the hardened glass we can do easy. Pressure tubes, we need more hardened glass. Okay, I believe hardened glass is obsidian, sand, and nether quartz. So let's go ahead and grab some of that real quick. All right, so we have our hardened glass. Let's go ahead and make uh, one of our tanks, or I guess we can make straight, we can make two of them real quick. We need reinforced stone slabs. So before I craft these guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head towards this village that's up north. And uh, the village up north has a pneumatic craft building that I want to raid real quick. All right, so this thing kind of had a half astral sorcery, half pneumatic craft. So no pneumatic craft stuff. Uh, none of the uh, blocks for it, but some of the building blocks we can tear down from the inside of this building. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to use the pillar for anything or the stairs, but they do have tile and they do have slabs here so let's pick up everything here so we can save up on our compressed iron all right so stone cutter with reinforced bricks reinforced stone perfect so let's go ahead and make put half of these back into the normal there we go and with these guys, we should be able to make the slabs that we need. Perfect. All right, small fluid tank. We can make two of these dudes. And let's see if we can make this work. Pick a fluid tank. We put one bucket of water in it. Whoops. This one should retain its inventory yep and let's try crafting with this guy to make the mud bricks eight mud ball environmental there we go so we had to make the small fluid tank to be able to do the craft for the mud balls all right and we can turn around and put the mud balls in here all right, this guy, yeah, this guy, we can just max him out. And there we go, there's our mud bricks. We only need eight of them for right now. Okay. So now when we put in the eight into the, the this guy right here, eight, we also need to put in construction paste in the last one. Now we just need our uh, two pieces of smoldering lapis. There we go. One of them we need to keep for the thermonomatic processing plant. But the other two can go in here. There we go. And since I didn't set a uh, filter, it got stuck back on here, but that's fine. There we go. Oh, it puts them down in one at a time. So let's put this guy like this. That's our eight pieces for our alloy kiln. So we have our alloy kiln. Let's see, we only have one space in between. Let's put this guy right here. We can tag him with the hammer. I think we should still have a hammer. All right, there's our hammer. And here we can put in some coal and then we can 
as soon as we get the upgrade matrix, we can put a book in with an upgrade matrix to make the engineer's blueprint that we need to make the circuit backplanes. So let's see, the next step what we have to do is uh, we have to make the thermopneumatic processing plant. So let's grab this guy here. Let's see, what are we missing? We're missing one pressure tube. These guys require pressure tubes? No. Oh, drill pipes were what were holding the uh, the building together. I was hoping they were pressure tubes. All right, so pressure tubes. And we need three more of these guys. And here we go, thermopneumatic processing plant. All right. As far as I know, this guy does not need any pressure built up to function. It only needs a heat source. So let's see. I'm curious to see if this guy works with magma blocks. Let's grab a magma block, and if it doesn't work, we'll have to light netherrack on fire under it. Because this guy only needs heat to function. So we'll go over here to this area where uh, we're working. And let's see if we can... We'll move this guy over one. And let's put this guy here. Like that like this or wait it shift click turns it around i want it facing no it does turn it around this way all right which side is the front this side's supposed to be the front let's look at the if the icon is facing this way then this guy's got to be the front part like that whoop all right, and we can park this guy right here. Yep, it is gaining temperature from the magma block, so that's perfect. We need to put water in this guy and the moldering lapis. Let's see, that guy. And how much water did it need to make this guy? Let's see. Upgrade matrix, 1,000 millibuckets of water, the smoldering lapis. So I guess the machine in expert mode does require air pressure to function. Huh. Because I know the air, uh, air compressors are disabled in expert mode. 32. All right, and now we need the iron. Two of these dudes, and let's see, where were we? We were making the thermal compressor. So we need two of these guys. All right, and to turn them into thermoplate, we should be able to just smash them in the multi-servo. So let's do that real quick. Whoops. All right, so multi-servo. Take this guy out, put in the thermoelectric generators. Thermoplates. Two of them. Alright, and the rest of the stuff should be fairly simple, right? We need to make a machine frame out of iron and glass panes. So let's grab iron plates, an iron gear, and some glass panes. Two, three, four. Do I have any in here? Or, and we need one gear, which we don't have here. All right. All right, so iron gear, iron gear. Machine frame and thermal compressor. So let's try it out. Put another rack here here we'll put the thermal compressor here and we'll put the snow blocks here and let's see if it works pressure yeah pressure's going up max pressure five bar so let's go ahead and route 
Cool, it comes with a security upgrade, so it's not going to explode on us. Let's see. Whoop. One bucket of water. Smoldering lapis. Pressure is building up in the thermal compressor. Really slowly, of course. I'm curious if this nether rack... See, why did the nether rack stop burning? I thought nether rack is supposed to always be... Always burn. Let's see if this will work. It does work. We can time in a bottle it. Oh, it, yeah. So it changes the nether rack and it changes the the snow. So it pulls the heat out, the differential. It doesn't stay permanent. And this guy stops uh, being lit on fire as well. Huh, that's weird. But it did make the item after we sped it up. We just didn't wait for it. So we have our four upgrade matrix. That's what we need. I can go in here. We need to get one book and we need to grab uh, some coal so that we can burn it. All right, so coal and a book. And there's our engineer's blueprint that we need so that we can start making the circuit backplates. Backplanes. Okay, so copper plate insulating class. We need uh, any kind of iron or aluminum dust. And we need any glass and green dye. Green dye we can get from smelting cactus, right? Insulated class, 18. Circuit backplates, we need copper plates as well. Let's grab our copper plates and then we should be able to get all of our circuit back planes that we need. Copper plates. Let's do 18. Wonderful. Boing. All right, insulated glass, copper plates. Insulated glass, copper plate, circuit back plane. There they are. I didn't see it. We have 18 circuit back planes. Wonderful. Get rid of this guy. Don't need the liquid trash can either. All right, this, the uh, circuit back planes. The reason why I wanted these, of course, we need to progress in the quest book, which the upgrade matrix... Let's see, why did you not give me credit for it in the quest book? So there's something goofy going on in the quest book right around this area, but we can skip that for now, because uh, what I want to make with the circuit black, the circuit back planes that we made is the centrifuge. I want to do this so we can automate our honeycombs, and then we can call it a stream. So I need the circuit back plane, which we just made, steel machine frame smooth stone and piston so let's make that and then to power this guy we're going to use resourceful bees as well we're going to make the honey generator and the honey generator has a recipe that requires redstone flux coil wooden honey tank a token of joy which we've made before magic clay and any honeycomb so let's do that real quick let's get everything we need for those two items Okay, redstone flux coil. Then we need to drop our items into water real quick so that we can make the magic clay. Let's just use this right here. Clay ball, lapis, mana powder, enchanted ash. Boop. Of course I'm stuck now. There we go, this looks good. I'll fix that. We have our magic clay. What are we missing? Honeycombs. So let's go grab our honeycombs and then we should be good. 
We can grab any honeycomb too. Brass, iron, invar. Grab some brass. Let's go ahead and make our centrifuge, which needs the steel. And we're missing a wooden honey tank. So honey tank and honey generator. Honey power. Also grab some of our honey jars that we have saved up. And we can grab our six pieces of steel over here. Let's see. Three pieces. Nine pieces. All right. And centrifuge. There we go. So let's go ahead and set up this guy over here somewhere so that we can have a, a little bit of a better time processing this stuff. Let's put it here. And let's see if we can automate this guy with hoppers. Like this, the centrifuge up top. All right, we can do this to power it. Put this guy next to it. Fill in some honey. There we go. Filling up with honey, filling up with power, powering this guy. And let's see if we can drop in brass honeycombs. They'll get processed and hopefully dump out the bottom into the chest. Yes. Wait, where'd it go? Or did it not make anything that turn? Yep, there we go. Something blinked and it went down. Cool. Crushed brass. So now we'll be able to do this instead of uh, our auto macro that we've been working on. Depending on what, uh, depending on what comb we send through, we'll also be able to gather it up with the honeycombs that we have here. So these honeycombs will fill in, or the fluid from the honeycombs will fill in and dump the glass bottles in here as well. And we can put those glass bottles back in here for the generator to power the unit. So we can do this until we have a fully operational centrifuge going on. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to keep the series going and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft. If you want to see the full uninterrupted footage, you can go to my channel on Twitch at twitch.tv ddanicus. The VODs will be saved there.